Welcome back, freaky people, to When Cartoons Was Cool. We are looking at episode four of Birdman. This is Birdman versus the Mummer. This was released September 16th, 1967. I was not even born yet. This is a fun episode. All of these are fun. I'm having a blast going through these. Thank you for checking them out. So we start off at the, I believe it was the Council of Peaceful Nations. And there's two kings, the Kingdom of Lampir and the Kingdom of Salomon. And they're about to sign a peace treaty. And there's a guy that looks suspiciously like, a lot like the creeper from Scooby-Doo. And he comes and says, there's a message for you, sire. Of course, the guy goes with him and it's a trap. It's the mummer. I love the supervillain. He's pretty badass. His superpower is disguises and voices. So he ties up the King of Solomon. Of course, what is he going to do? He's going to go back. Doesn't really say what the payoff for all this is. Maybe he's working for FEAR. Who knows? We're not told. And I'm only going by what the cartoons tell us. So he comes back out and he says he discovered a plot of war against the Kingdom of Solomon. So total war on the kingdom of Lampir. And you know, stuff's about to kick off. Stuff's about to get real at the Council of Peaceful Nations. So we go to Birdman's uh, sort of hollowed out volcano hideout and Falcon 7 with his pipe and his eye patch tells him what's happened and war has been declared and he better get to the border and find out what's going on. So they go to the border and these guys are just following orders. They say, we must obey our king. Missiles are fired. Birdman he uses his solar rays and it just absolutely, they just disappear. So that's pretty strong. Uh, the other kingdoms come in with tanks. And so he uses his solar ray to like melt the turrets so that they're not going to do any damage. He's trying to avoid these two countries just having war and people dying. Good on you, Birdman. Falcon 7 says the real king, you know, on his communicator, Falcon 7 says the real king's been found tied up. There's this uh, guy called the Mummer. So he, I'm not really sure what he does. He uses his rays and the guys are kind of just frozen in place. It doesn't explain what this power is, but they, he basically says, go and back to your posts and await word from your king. So, of course, the mummer is watching TV and he discovers that the jig is up. They know about him, but he is not finished yet. He just pulls his hair off. He looks a lot like the creeper from Scooby-Doo. I'm sorry. He might have been first. I'm not saying anybody ripped anybody off. But, yeah, Falcon 7, Falcon 7 comes back on the screen. But it's not Falcon 7. It's the mummer. He is a master of disguise. Takes him no time to put on a complete disguise. He's got Falcon 7 tied up, but Birdman kind of notices something was fishy with Falcon 7. So as he's going to this uh, test missile range where the fake Falcon 7 said to meet him, he tells Avenger to go check on the real guy. Now, how the mummer knew where Falcon 7's office hideout was, who knows? It doesn't tell us. Birdman's going to this uh, weapon testing site and who's in control? The mummer, of course. All the guards are tied up. He fires cobalt missiles. Two cobalt missiles at Birdman. Birdman's got his solar shield. It's my favorite power he has. It blocks them, but he's wiped out. He's just on the ground, like knocked out. Avenger goes and finds Falcon 7 all tied up. And it's a funny little bit because he gets the gag off of him. And Falcon 7's like, use your claws to untie me. And he does, but he looks like a cat making biscuits it's more than anything. The Mummer's got Birdman dead to rights, but Falcon 7 has called out the reinforcements. The Mummer is surrounded. There's like little, little car, all kinds of little stuff. And soldiers, everything around him, he's surrounded. But he very quickly puts on a Birdman costume. So who's the real Birdman? I am. No, I am. In comes Avenger. Avenger always comes to save the day somehow. Here comes Avenger and he flies to the real Birdman. And the mummer is just like, well, they're not going to take me. He takes the mask off. He's got a jetpack on and just takes off. I mean, the mummer is a, a 
probably this is the strongest villain so far i would say uh he he's got weird skills and so far he's getting away so birdman and avenger take off after the mummer and you know he's pretty intelligent he just he just drops down into a football stadium and there's like i think birdman says 60,000 people there he can't find them he's like he literally says he could be any one of these 60,000 people so for the first time this is the first time a villain a bad guy gets away i like that birdman is vulnerable you know can, he can lose the bad guy and he and Avenger fly off into the red sun what an episode what a series I love doing this I hope someone is enjoying this as much as I am because these are great if you don't have them go and get them on DVD or, or however you can get them they're a lot of fun they're short it doesn't take too much time to watch one so I would give this one a 10 because it's a strong villain uh, he gets away I mean, this is the first villain that gets away. I was I was shocked. And it's it's action packed, it just moves along quickly. You can't go wrong. Hanno Barbera. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Yeah.